wonder what my little glowworms are up to. Oh. Actually, everything went quite well. They continued to hatch, I did a few cleanings and rehousings, lots of feedings, and some already started to molt in the second stage. On day 25, however, I encountered a rare case of cannibalism. Perhaps a lava drowned in a droplet of condensation water and its exoskeleton was ripped open by a splinter of snail shell, maybe. So, cannibalism. Hmm. I shall consult the Necronomicon on that issue. They say meat makes blood and flesh and gives you a new life. So I wondered if it wouldn't make a man live longer and longer if it was more the same. Well, what it certainly does is increasing the chance to pick up some pathogens that might infect you. So... I am not approving of this kind of behavior. No, no, no. Luckily, I have an aquarium that gets a lot of nutrients and sunlight and therefore supports large populations of freshwater snails. That's a real treat for my glowworm larvae. Here, have these instead. In total, I have now 464 F20 larvae of Lampyris sardinia. Give or take 5 to 10 larvae, they are not that easy to count. You don't see much here, but that is because most of them are already full and molting, or about to molt. They tend to hide and cluster together for this. Hold on, some more hatchlings incoming. 465 466 And there are still some eggs left from the first batch. And there's also a second batch waiting. <laughs> 